everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'd like to share with you a mini album that I've created. And this mini album uses Kayser Craft papers and the papers are called Pitter Patter. And this is the six and a half inch paper pad of the collection and as you can see it coordinates for baby girls and baby boys. And the album that I've created uh, is of course, as you can see, a baby boy album. In my album, I wanted to create it for a number of reasons. Firstly, I have a friend who's recently become a grandmother this year and this is a gift for her. She is a grandmother of two lovely baby boys and when she shares photos, she shares them in a brag book that is a traditional little flat book and every time I see it, I think, oh, we can do so much better. So. This is a gift for her. She has no idea I've created it, but I'm sure she's going to absolutely love it when I give it to her later on. Another reason is I wanted to use up some papers that I have, and in this particular paper collection, Kayser Craft released some project cards, which are very popular at the moment, and they've called their cards Captured Moments. And in this album, show you how you can incorporate these into your car, um, mini albums and they come in two sizes uh, the 3x4 and the 4x6. With mini albums you tend to use a lot of papers which was one of the reasons why I created this album and I wanted to use these cards in a way to personalize it and these are fabulous these journal cards are absolutely fabulous and you'll see how you can use them really well to personalize and to make your mini albums really special so I'm going to show you a walkthrough of my particular album the construction of my album follows a tutorial that I followed by my sister scrapper and she um, makes beautiful albums and I'm relatively new to mini albums so I'm learning so this is my third mini album using a third technique so to say and this follows my sister Scrapper her project page tutorial so this album uses um, pockets and inter a lot of interactiveness as well so I'll just go through how I created and um, how I rather decorated and incorporated the captured captured moment cards into my album. So on the front cover I've used papers from the collection and I've used a combination of the paper pad and the 12x12 papers. This, this image is actually from the one of these cards and I've just trimmed it down to size to you use just this Im image here and I've just embellished using some of the Kayser Craft chipboards. I um, applied two layers of gesso, I inked and then I used some glitter glue, some Tim Holtz um, crackle rock candy on this. So on my blog I'll have a link to a full um, description of the items that I've used to decorate my my particular album. On the spine I added an eyelet and some split rings and I've created these beads myself from my stash. I love beads so this was a great opportunity to pull them out and incorporate that into my album and the back it uses um, some coordinating paper which was from the same 12 by 12 page which I used on the front. The inside. Now, here we go. I created an extra big pocket here and I've got the same for the front and the back. Here are where the cards come into play. So in this pocket, this is the same as you would make a regular pocket but I've added an extra lip because these are quite thick as you can see. So this is one of the captured moment cards and they're double sided so you get the 
the opportunity to pick from the front and the back. One of the pages from the 12x12 collection has um, these lovely month-by-month um, -month journaling cards which marry up with the journal cards. So I cut them and I um, used an edge punch so that they would be the same as this and I mounted them onto cardstock so that it would give them some um, sturdiness. So what I wanted to have was an opportunity for lots of journaling in this mini album. So in the first pocket at the front we have the first five months and in the back pocket we have the last 12, uh, for six, six to 12 months. So on each little page we've got front and back and you've got the opportunity to journal, journal and also options for photo mats as well. And I just thought how perfect is this, what a wonderful opportunity and the work is done. Cozy Craft have done the thinking for you and that fits nicely in there. So here we go. Now, inside this style of album, the pages have photo mats. To supplement the photo mats, I've just used a background stamp on the back and stamped. And these slide in as such. So where you see these, this is where you can put a, a photo. So we have a photo mat here. And this is one of the captured moment sentiments another photo mat there and the back I created a pocket Crazycraft also have um, lots of die cuts that you can get and they're called collectibles so they have some wonderful wonderful collectibles that co coordinate beautifully I've used nearly the whole packet in this album and I use foam tape to add dimension to prop them up so I've used these are from the collectibles and created a tag. These are from um, the cardstock and this is from the captured moments. And I created a pocket and the pocket gives you options to add other little mementos as well. Again, these are from the collectibles and this is interactive for some more journaling. This comes from the large pack from the 4x6 and how lovely is this? What a lovely way to personalise this album. So one for each grandson. Another photo mat. There's some really lovely sentiments in the collection. These are from the collectibles. These are some stamps that I had. And I thought it would be nice if, you know, this could be an option to photograph the boy's feet. So put some dates there and uh, photo mats there. In the design of the album, there's these mini pages that flip. So what I did was I had a toy theme on these two pages. So we've got toys there and toys there and some tags that slide out. And again, these are from the collectibles. And I used uh, the scraps here just to make a little banner. I love die cuts, so I made some die cut frames. This is just a sentiment that says, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how loved you are. Do you know how loved you are? Just some scraps to make tags. Nothing goes to waste. And some more photo mats. And these are some stamps. And some stamps that I had to marry up with the with the banner that I had on the other page. Here are some more of the, the cards. So opportunities for journaling. You can see they're double-sided. And they fit nicely in here. Another section for some more of the cards. This was um, one of the large cards and I just cut it up so that it could fit here and I really liked the, the, the words. 
and I make that interactive so that you could actually do some journaling and some more tags. Let's slide into the pocket. Photo mats. Another photo mat. And here we have the last of the month by month opportunities for journaling and photo mats. So as you can see, these lovely captured moment cards really add another personalised dimension to an album. So if you really want to capture precious moments, consider in your next album using these cards they're wonderful, they coordinate beautifully, and they help to save paper. One thing that I found was that sometimes I just needed that little bit of paper, but I didn't want to cut up a whole sheet. They have some really nice backing, so if you know you're not going to use what is on the front, you can always use the, pa the patterns on the back to make the tag, or that little embellishment, or the, the front of the cover, such as this without having to cut up a whole piece of paper. So they're very versatile, very beautiful, and really add another dimension to your mini album. So give it a go, have a look for the collection. Um, Pitter Patter is the range that I used. They also have the baby girl. That's what you'd like to make if you know of someone or if you have a little baby girl. So thanks so much for stopping by today and um, happy crafting.